Holy macaroni. Yeah, I think I have a lot of whips. That needs sorting through for this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the Stitching Colourist with Shelley Lewis. I do apologise if it seems a bit gloomy today. The weather, it's changed. Yesterday the weather was really, really warm outside and it was very, very bright. However, today it's still warm but it's really, really dull. So whether we're going to get any rain later, I do not know. So for today's video, you'd have seen at the beginning all my whips. I'm not going to do a whip parade as such because I feel like I might have just done that. However, uh, I've set myself a new challenge for this month, kind of for like Stitch Mania. My aim is on all of my full coverage pieces, my cross stitch, I want to try and get 2,500 stitches done. So it's like a 50 by 50 block squares. So that's how it works out. But for today's purpose, because I've only really been doing that on two projects. So I've only been working on mainly on two, three projects at the most since I did the last Floss 2 video. So today I thought I would try, try and do a bit of clear out of my cross stitch projects because I need to go through them because I've got a lot of them now I have got a lot and I was thinking about going through them and starting to clear some out um, maybe passing some on or something taking some to the charity shop so I thought I would do that with you guys so I've got a bunch of stuff here if any time I do pause it's to go and put the stuff back and then to go and get some other stuff that we can go through so we're just going to go through everything so i've got my harry potter bag here that i had from the stitch and retreat needless to say i will never get rid of that <laughs> but we need to see what's in it because in some of the bags i've got more than one cross stitch projects so this one i'll definitely definitely be keeping because this is the one that I'm working on for my husband. Do I have a large picture of it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, so this one I'm working on for my husband. It is Wallace Hartley from the Titanic, the lead band member. And yeah, as I said, I'll de this one I'm definitely, definitely keeping. So this one will be a cape i'll show you what i've done on it at the minute i uh, i've done a fair bit but i haven't done i haven't worked on it for a little bit because like i said i'm trying to i'm with my full coverage is now i'm trying to do 50 by 50 squares and then just go with it round that with this one because i've done it a bit all over the place i might have to just carry on with how i'm working on that one so that is wallace hartley I won't take too long to go through these projects because I have got a, a few to go through and like I said I need to know what I'm deciding to keep and what I'm not going to keep. So the next project that I've got in this one is who is she? Kate Winslet rose out of the move of the Titanic. I got that one done as a custom and I got it done the same time as I got Wallace Hartley done. So let's have a look what I've done on here at the minute. I've not done too much on this one, so I could technically do my 50 by 50. Needless to say, I will be keeping this one as well. That's how far I've got at the minute on that. So I think now because I'm working a 50 by 50. And what I mean by that is I'm counting across till we get to 50, which is here. And then counting down to 50, which is there. Joining it up to, to which it's about there. And then I'm just doing that whole section. And that's how I'm going to work my project. It's my little challenge for myself. Whether I'll stick to it, I don't know. <laughs> I never have done in the past. So, yeah. So, we know these are keeping projects. We know them. 
so I'll put these back in here I'll keep these in the same bag because I know that they're both the Titanic ones so that's a definite keep those projects so this one I would like to keep the Ziploc bags because they come in real handy for when I do get other projects but the problem with that is if I decide not to keep a project I've got nothing to put it in so this one what is this one this one is it was from Outdoor Tired and it's the coffee cups well say coffee cups coffee tea cups teapot um shall i keep this one yeah i've been working a 50 by 50 in this as well the printing on this it's all right i'm not too sure i'm not too sure about this. sorry i'm not even showing you what i've done i've done that at the moment on that one and then i have to fill in all of that so I'm not too sure about that one at the minute. The printing on it seems all right. Obviously, the kits where the printing on isn't that good, I will be getting rid of. Not too sure about that one yet. So we'll put that. I'm going to put that back in the sick lock bag for the minute. So we'll decide on that one. So I don't know. Because to be honest, I need to be quite tough when it comes to getting rid of some of my kits now. But then again, I don't think I've got many by Outdoor Tide. So we'll put that in a maybe pile. So that's my keep. I'll chuck my maybe pile over there. I've got nowhere else to put it. So my next project, I think I will be getting rid of this one. I'm really sorry. Um, this one was from Seven Great. Was that no? The other one was from Outdoor Tide, wasn't it? I don't have a big picture of this to show you guys. This one, it's the horror one with all the different horror characters. The reason why I'm thinking I might part with this one is I've not been working on it. Um, I worked a little bit on it before. But I haven't done a whole lot. <clears throat> that is all that I've done. That black down there. But the problem with this one is some of the printing is blurry on that. Yeah, some of the printing down there is blurry. So I'm really sorry. But I don't like getting rid of any of the kits that companies do obviously send me for review. But because I've got that much, I need to work on ones. And I think other people would get that much enjoyment out of it as well. To be honest, I suppose I could always do it as a potential giveaway. If anyone would be interested in it. Maybe, maybe not yet. So anyway, I definitely know that I'm going to be parting with that one. So... Where am I going to put this? I'll put this just behind me. So keep down there. Uh, yeah, over there. Get rid of behind me. <laughs> so, next project. Another one of these Ziploc bags. Now this one is a, a one of the Harry Potter ones. So I highly doubt that I'll be getting rid of this because I love these. I love them. Has this got a big picture? It's not got a big picture. It's Hermione Granger. That picture doesn't do it justice. I'm really sorry. But I haven't got a big picture to show you. This one I'll definitely be keeping. Because I've only recently had these kits. And the printing is alright on these. I haven't... I've done some work on it, but I haven't done a lot. I wanted to do a face first to see how a face would turn out. Did I show you in my last video? But yeah, I did a face because I was a bit worried, but it actually turned out really well. So I'm pleased with how the face has turned out. And I, here I've started doing the 50 by 50 
so that's what i'm going to be doing on that one so yeah this one is a keep so put that so i could do with some out to do put these back oh watch tracy you get help <laughs> send them over to help me <laughs> i could do with the help so yeah that is a definite keep next one another sippy bag which i may be keeping now this one this is a world of warcraft themed picture i haven't done too much on this one yet but that is the picture in the corner absolutely gorgeous picture absolutely love it and this one is from biggest craft i do love biggest craft i like all the other companies as well but biggest craft um yeah i love them this one the printing on this is really good so i will be keeping this i haven't done too much on here at the moment and i haven't started the 50 by 50 squares however i will be pulling it out to do that so that is how far i've got on that at the minute so yeah i'll be keeping this one because i think if i think right this one i actually decided to choose for my husband because my husband likes World of Warcraft as well. So I think that's the reason why I chose this one. So yeah, I'll definitely, definitely be keeping that one. This one. I'll be keeping this. <laughs> so far, how many have I got rid of? Yeah, this is Mirabilia and this is the charlotte design i don't know if i worked on it since the last time i showed you however i'll show you again so i do apologize if you've seen what you've saw before um but i've done i've done quite well on this done really really well make sure the charts out that is how far i've done on that at the moment done really well i'm just working on you know that bit there just working on this bit now and then i'll finish that quarter of the pattern it goes without saying i am definitely definitely keeping this one these kind of ones i'll definitely keep because for, for starters they're not exactly cheap so yeah i'll definitely be keeping them so I'm trying to get this in here because I'm I'm trying to hurry up on my videos as well because we're not going to have much time to go through stuff, but especially if I'm ferreting about with these bags. So we know we're keeping that one. So that one's a keep. Now I'm going to show you this bag down here because I've got new projects in here. Now, I know for definite I'll be keeping these because these ones were only really recently sent to me and these were sent to me by Biggest Craft, so thank you so much to Biggest Craft for that. And these are the two kits that I decided to do my 50 by 50 blocks, the 2500 method on. So, Biggest Craft, you have inspired me. <laughs> so... I've got that one of the Harry Potter crest. You haven't seen me stitching that one yet. I did want to do a live stitching chat. But when I plan to do it, I think I got ill with the chicken pox. I got ill, but then I was all right. But then unfortunately, my husband got ill, but he got really poorly. He did. He was really ill with it. He's only just uh, getting really over it now. However, here's what one of my 50 by 50 blocks look like. So that, before, I thought it was like a thousand stitches and I was like, you idiot, you haven't counted it right. So it's 50 going across, 
by 50 going down so 50 by 50 2500 stitches so i completed that yesterday and it's taken me about a week to do this maybe not even that probably not even that but yeah i am absolutely loving that one and the other one that i've got in here is my stranger fur things it's my stranger things themed one i recently started this one last night doing the 50 by 50 and so far because i've only just started it i've only got that far on it at the moment so not too far but yeah i'm stitching at the corner point first near the corner point so i can get all that done now this one because it's got thin borders i've had to obviously clip it in so i'll need to stitch that but what my aim is is to get this corner bit done then i'll get all the bit of confetti what's in this bit do all the blue round here and then when that's done i'll take out the frame and i'll hand stitch the border bit round there so that is how far i am at, at the minute on that one so i've done a fair bit of stitching on that because i only did that last night and i'll drop my bag yes yeah, so i only worked on that last night and that is my stranger fur things so if you can just bear with me for five minutes i'm going to put these bits back and then i'll be back with you hi i'm back so i've just grabbed a couple more out that kit that i told you about just the one with the coffee teacups i'm being i'm being strict with myself now i am gonna get rid of that one it's a shame because it's a nice one but the chances i've got i've just got too much to do to work on so unfortunately i'm gonna to have to let that one go it's nothing against the company so please don't think that it's just i need to be strict with what i've got here so the next one is oh, i love this one this is from i don't think i wrote this down but i think i can remember this one i'm sure it's from biggest craft it's my beautiful beautiful white tiger with the blue eyes how gorgeous is that that is absolutely stunning needless to say i am definitely not getting rid of this one i absolutely love it now is this what you call cross country when you go across where you just stitch across that is how far i've got at the minute on that one so i've done a fair bit on that um will i decide to do the 50 by 50 no i don't know on this one because it's got a fair bit of block stitching so i might just work i might just work halfway between on this one and just work to about there get some stitching done there and then do it that way and i've got my tom hardy needle miner so yeah i'll be keeping that one i definitely definitely love it so that one is a keep oh wait to work on that one again i've got it downstairs actually i'm just stuffing it in the back at the minute because this because it's a fairly large kit this is and i've only got it in one of those little zippy bags and one of those so yeah that one is a keep right now i've got my other bag here my watermelons so what have we got in here mm. oh no what we've got in here In April, I ordered myself a couple of kits from Amazon and I ordered a Snow White one because I thought it was super cute and it's a 40 by 50, that's what it is. And that is super cute, isn't it? Absolutely lovely, lovely picture that is. However, I wasn't 100% happy with it. 
because the printing on it the printing on it is not great at all it is not great um i'd like to say am i gonna keep this one or get rid of it i've only just bought it though this one yeah the printing is not great i don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera but can't really sell on camera such yeah so i'm undecisive on that one i am being strict i'm dropping everything i am being strict so i don't know what i want to do with this one because like i said i only just bought it but the printing's not perfect so i'm i might get rid of it actually you know i might get rid of that one even though i've not technically not long had it i'm i just wasn't happy with the printing on it so <sighs> i'm gonna get rid of it so that one is a get rid of i'm gonna have to put that in a carry bag though because I'm not getting rid of this. So what else have I got in this bag? Ah, we've got this one. Now this one I had from Timu. Now the shaping of it wasn't great. It was a bit slanted, just a little, just a little bit. However, I'm working with it. That one I will keep because I was, even though it wasn't great, it's still doable. And this is the first kit that I decided to do the 50 by 50 on. And I was pleased with this one. So that's my 50 by 50 done. Well, just over 50 by 50 because I did them there. But yeah, edges aren't surged. So we're going to have a little bit of frame, which I'm a bit worried about. But if I'm careful with it, it'll be all right. No, yeah, this one I'm going to keep for definite. So yeah, like that one. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that one We're going to keep that one and Put that one there I have got another one in here we'll, we'll have a look at that as well We're up to 23 minutes now I'll see if I can go a bit past my normal time So the other one we've got Now I think this one I didn't write that this was before I started writing down on the pictures where they were from which I'm an idiot we've got a small picture here now this one's a 48 by 63 of the geisha girl this one may have been from VIP cross stitch I say may because I'm not too sure because I've had this one a while now um, you're going to have a go at me here you now I just know you're going to have a go at me Because I'm going to part with this one as well The reason being I like a face I started stitching a face Which I think turned out well But there's only one thing that annoys me We've got a bobble here With a thread that went a bit quiffy and that annoys me but like I said I've got a lot of projects to work on so I think I think I'm gonna part with this one like I said I need to be strict with it I do I need to be strict so I'm gonna take the needle off that one because I'm not sure so yeah i'm going to take this one out of the bag i'm parting with that so i take all the stuff out i'm just going to put these in i think somebody will like them somebody will like them i would do it all the things i'm parting with i would do as if like i said as a giveaway on on YouTube but the problem is obviously I like to do international because I like to give everyone a chance but I wouldn't be able to all the ones that I'm giving away I wouldn't be able to send them all off international unfortunately because um, 
it'd adjust the postage and just be way, way, way too much. So I think I will actually part with these. I'll take them to a charity shop or something. I don't know. Or I might see if one of my friends or something might want them. So, yeah, we are one cross stitch less in that one. So I'm getting rid of a few. I didn't think I would, but I'm being strict with myself. So that's good. So we've got another Harry Potter bag here. I don't know if we're going to go through that bag down there, that small one. So this video probably will be in parts because I've got kits upstairs as well that I haven't even started. So <clears throat> this one I will be keeping because it's another Harry Potter one, the uh, recent designs. This one is from Biggest Craft. And this is a serious black. Picture doesn't do it justice. Uh, however, like I said, I will definitely be keeping this because I love it. I didn't stick to the 50 by 50 on this one. I just went down. But I can still do a 50 by 50 because I'm nearly done it. Um, I'm up to 40 there. So what I'd have to do is stitch across this. Fill that in, fill that little bit in there and then probably do this bit here. Yeah, I'd have to do that bit there and obviously that corner bit. So yeah, that one is a definite keep. I'm keeping that one. I like that. So yes. Um, that is my Fred's the right one. And the last design we have in here, which I may part with, I don't know, yeah. Right, let's just get this one back in. <laughs> we'll just get this one back in. So, yeah, the other one that I've got in here, I've not worked on this one for a while. Um, I don't know why, to be fair. This picture isn't going to do it justice. It's um, a Harry Potter one. And it's got Expecto Patronum. And it's got the little things on it there. Which, that there is it there. Now, the background, it requires you to stitch it white. However, there's no point in stitching the background white. Because the fabric is going to be white anyway. So it would be a waste of time stitching all that yellow in white because, like I said, the fabric's white. So this one, to be honest, it's quite clear, this is. And each of the symbols you stitch are like little mini finishes. And I have stitched some of this. So, you know, I think I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep it. And um, when I feel like doing a little bit of stitching, just do... The little signal bits on here. So yeah, that is what I've stitched so far, by the way. A bit of the board around there going all the way down here. And you can see at the back there. So that is how far I've got on the Harry Potter. I keep it in my Harry Potter bag because obviously it's a Harry Potter ticket. So yeah. I'll be keeping that one. So that is a keep. And that, have I got scissors in here? I think I've got scissors in here. I did have extra scissors and I wondered what I did with them. Yeah. I've got a needle mine. An absolutely humongous threader. Which I think you can use as a needle minder as well. And, yeah, I've got scissors in here as well. I was wondering where these was. These are my stalk scissors that I had from a retreat. And I had my, um, oh, my scissor keep. These scissor keeps, I purchased these from Tish Roberts, who's Marumi at the retreat. So, unfortunately, she won't be at the April one that I'm on next year. But April is always better for me because it's always in between when the kids are off school. So it's always a better time. But yeah, she made that. Absolutely love it. So yeah, 
those are those those are those so i have got the other bag down here but like i said because we're up to 30 minutes <laughs> we're up to 30 minutes i can't go much further than that um so yeah i think no we know we're gonna keep that one so that's where we're gonna go for for now so i'm keeping a few <laughs> However, I'm actually also parting with a few. So we're parting with whatever. You know, I'm gonna just stick it all in a bag. We're parting with this one, Snow White, which I won't please with. I, I love the design. I love the picture. I'm nothing against the picture itself, but yeah, I wasn't pleased with that one. So we're parting with that one. We're parting with this one that I've had for a while, sadly, but I have to be strict. So yeah, we're gonna part with that one. I'll put that one there. We're gonna part with this one as well, the coffee one and the tea. I like it, but like I said, I, I have to be strict. And um, we're parting with the horror one. Because of the printing's not absolutely great on that so yeah i hope you've enjoyed the first part of me sorting out my cross stitch kits the shelf is still full so obviously when i've sorted it all out i've got to go through it all and start organizing it but i have got to look through my craft trolley that i usually take to the retreats and fish stuff out of there because then whatever's on the shelf or left in the bags, I'll be able to probably put in there then. So yeah, we're parting with one, two, three, four kits. So I am keeping a couple at the minute, but I'm parting with four kits. So that's not too bad. So as I said, um, Stitch, Stitch Mania plans, Mania, do, they do Mania anymore, but are 2,500 stitches on each of my full coverage pieces so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull a piece out which is a full coverage get 2500 stitches on unless it's something like um unless it's something like my sleeping beauty that i'm nearly partly down and i've only got a fair and I've only got some of the bottom bit left to do because it's hard to count it then. It's easier to count on a full coverage when you're just starting it then. So yeah, 2,500 stitches on a project. Um, I'm not planning on such which project. I'm just going to work on, yeah. I'm just going to grab a project out, do 500, no. Do 2,500 stitches and then move on to the next one. Um, at the moment, in the last two weeks, this is not including the other bits of stitching that I've done. I've completed 5,000 stitches and that was on just two of the projects. On the new one, which is that one I showed you, the Hogwarts Crest. I did 2,500 on that. And then the lady, you know, with a hat, with a purple and the orange hat i did 2500 on that as well so uh i've just done 5000 stitches alone on those two pieces so i'm quite happy with that i'm really happy with that so anyway guys i'm going to end this video now put all my stuff back start editing get this video loaded up because at least then in a day or two I can film the second part. I'm not sure how many parts it's going to be in. Because like I said we've got to go through all these kits. And see what we're keeping and what we're parting with. So anyway guys uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have please give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel then please press that subscribe button um, and the notifications bell so you'll be notified of when I bring the next video out. I just want to say thank you to everybody as well for coming in on the videos and for your lovely comments and your likes as well and for just generally watching the videos. It really, really does mean a lot. 
and it lets me know that I'm doing things right. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get going now. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you again soon. So goodbye for now, guys. Bye.